My name is uh, Captain uh, Brian Becker. I am the Commodore of Strike Fighter Wing Atlantic. Um, we have uh, over 200 aircraft uh, on the East Coast. Uh, there's a similar um, wing on the, uh, on the West Coast uh, that provides the uh, F-18 Super Hornet uh, to our carrier air wings who deploy on various aircraft carriers uh, throughout the world. What we do at Strike Fighter Wing uh, is we uh, man, train, and equip those air wings and those squadrons uh, that go out uh, on, uh, on deployment. Um, the things uh, that I'm here to answer questions on uh, are that man, train, and equip piece um, and those transitions to other aircraft. So over the past two years uh, at Oceana, uh, we have transitioned four various uh, Charlie squadrons, F-18C squadrons, into the F-18 ENF. And now all of our squadrons within the United States Navy that operationally uh, deploy on aircraft carriers are the F-18 ENF uh, version. I've seen the, uh, the ease of transition uh, with those squadrons, uh, and the last four to do it uh, within about uh, five to, uh, to seven months are fully operational in the uh, F-18 uh, ENF. Uh, so that is one of the things that, uh, that I, can, uh, I can provide. Um, I've also uh, have flown the uh, F-18 uh, variants uh, since 1998. Uh, I have over uh, 3,000 hours in, uh, in the various variants of the, uh, of the aircraft, um, and I've seen other transitions uh, from other platforms. Um, I was in a, uh, a squadron uh, during my department head tour uh, in which uh, the transition happened from the F-14 uh, to the uh, F-18. And I've seen some of the pros and cons of a full uh, tra platform transition, uh, vice the uh, transition and the ease of transition from the F-18C uh, to the F-18E uh, and F. Um, you'll hear some of vernacular, we are the wing, I am the wing, not necessarily the air wing. All right, the air wing is the uh, Navy captain who brings out eight squadrons to an aircraft carrier. That includes uh, 40 plus uh, F-18s, and like I said, now uh, they're all the ENF variant, uh, and then uh, six to eight uh, growlers, uh, F-18Gs, uh, out to the fleet uh, to go uh, project power uh, throughout the world. All right. Um, I know there are harsh conditions here. Um, there are very harsh conditions on the aircraft carrier. You know, that the chance to you to, uh, to get to be on an, uh, an aircraft carrier, you really do see um, the amount of power uh, that that projects, and the F-18 is right in the middle of that, uh, of that power. Um, I'm sure you've got to stand right near the foul line, seeing those aircraft come down, um, 750 feet per minute uh, rate of descent, uh, landing right there, stopping, you know, uh, within a, a couple hundred feet. Um, that puts a lot of strain on the aircraft. But the F-18 is there to, uh, to handle that strain, uh, and it's uh, combat proven over various uh, battles since you know, the, uh, the start of the F-18, you know, many, many uh, years, uh, years ago. Uh, so um, that is kind of the, uh, uh, the equip portion of what I do. Uh, I also see the uh, personnel side, the manning piece. Um, and part of my charter is to make sure that uh, our maintainers um, are qualified to fix the jets in the most efficient way, to keep those aircraft throughout a long lifespan. Um, and through the uh, service life modification, we're seeing you know, uh, that we're going to be using these Super Hornets for a long, long time. And they're going to be a part of American strategy you know, for the next two decades plus. Um, so um, making sure that our maintainers can um, very easily transition from other platforms, specifically to see to that it's a really easy transition. You know, we're talking about 90% of uh, similarities between there, um, which is really what's kind of required if you're going to transition that squadron uh, within about uh, six months. So we make sure that the manning piece is there, um, and then the training piece. Uh, we make sure uh, that those maintainers are properly trained on all uh, the tactics, techniques, and procedures to keep that jet up in harsh conditions, um, uh, as well as uh, our air crew who fly those aircraft. Um, tactics are ever-evolving. All uh, right, the technological advances, uh, you know, that have been here since the F-18 was first uh, uh, put out to the, uh, to the fleet have been, you know, very large, um, and they're only getting exponentially faster. The nice thing about uh, flying the, uh, the F-18 is uh, it is keeping pace with that, and as you look to the future um, with the Block 3 modifications, I'm really <laughs> excited for, you know, my counterparts uh, in the Navy, um, you know, that will get the chance to fly that. Uh, you know, I am uh, at the age now where, um, you know, 
uh, that's not going to be in the, uh, the cards for me. Uh, but to those young junior officers who are out there to get to fly that, that's going to be a really good capability. And you couple that with the F-18G, uh, and it is just going to be an unstoppable platform. So regardless of you know, other platforms that are coming out, the F-18 is going to be that cornerstone uh, and that uh, foundation uh, for tactics and uh, uh, projecting power for uh, many, many years to come. Right. Um, so that's kind of what I do uh, in, a, uh, in a nutshell, uh, and I'm here to answer any questions you have on you know, there's that transition piece um, and uh, how the F-18 fits in to that um, to, uh, to make that happen. Thank you, sir. Okay.